Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to show you how to change your, um, how to change your rear, um, your rear axle carriers on a two-wheel drive short course RC car truck. RC truck, whatever. Here's what I have that I'm going to replace. So... I'm going to start by taking off the wheel. You'll need a a 7 millimeter wide piece. Looks like Ah. Looks like that. That'll be just to take off your tire. Right, there's the bolt there. I'll take that off. Have your tire. Then then here's where it kind of starts to get a little complicated. You have to, to take off that bolt right there. And I think that bolt there, you might need a different size. But get this piece off. I'm only going to show for the one side. Because you just need to do the exact same thing on the other side to do for this. There we go, got that piece out now. Now you have this. First, I'm gonna take out this piece. So that's the size that I need. There we go. It's fine if you just pull it right off of there. And there's your other screw. Now for this part here. It's a little hard to do. You want some sort of like flathead screwdriver or something. Actually this pin here. That you want to watch out for. And you just pull that piece right off. Then there's two small washers on each side. I already took the other one out. Then you're left with two bearings that you want to just pop out. Popped out the first bearing there. On our members, this video is only for two wheel drive trucks, not four wheel. Then, once you pull that off, you basically have that there, which you could even it'll either come off in two pieces because you broke it or something, and that's the reason why you're watching this video. You're or you're just wondering to replace them like mine. So then I'm using these, um, the new ones. Pop the bearings back in on each side. Make sure it spins nicely. Once you get both bearings in. And then when you 
then you gotta make sure you put back on these little bearings, or not bearings, these little washers here. Find the other one. Put that on. Then put in a little pin. And then this bolt here, make sure these two lines are lined up with your with your pin because it actually clicks in. Once you get that back on though, you want to start by hooking this back up together so it spins. And grab that really big screw. Make sure nothing's underneath it. Grab that really big screw and put it back. So now it's hooked up again. See? Just like that. And it might be a bit harder to screw back in just because of the, um, just because of it's probably new for you, like mine. So then it'll be a lot, it'll just be a lot tougher to screw in on, screw everything back in. Once you have that back on, grab the black screw or whatever color it is for you, feed it through that, and then you, this one will be pretty hard too. There, once you get that back on, just put on your just put on your tire then put on your other then just put on your bolt There, and you basically have that on.